modern men are weak. In the world we live in today, we have been programmed to think that nothing is more important than our emotions. When someone says something that offends you, you want them canceled. When your life is absolute garbage because you are weak and overweight, people will tell you to accept and love your body as it is instead of improving. Body positivity, they call it. I call it being delusional. Today, it is more common than ever to suffer from mental illnesses like depression and anxiety. Why? How did it come to this? I have a theory. As we have progressed as a society, we have come to make our lives more and more comfortable. So comfortable, in fact, that nowadays, even the slightest bit of discomfort will be enough to break the spirit of the average man. But there are still men out there, men living among us that rise above this disease created by society. There are men in this world who seem to be unfazed by everything. Men who will never let their emotions dictate their actions. Men who leads the way for their fellow men and have a powerful presence when he enters the room. This is the kind of man that other men want on their side, whether it is in sports, on the job, or even in times of war. The kind of man that a woman wants as her lover and as the father to her offspring. This man could experience the greatest pleasure or suffer the most terrible tragedy, but you would never be able to tell the difference. This man is fully aware of what his mission and his goals are, and he knows exactly what needs to be done. But unlike most people, he actually does it. He takes action, always. Not because he always feels like it, but because he must, no matter how he feels. This man will keep standing up, even when life does everything it can to break him down. And for this reason, he always gets what he wants. This man is a stoic. And if you want to become just like him, you have arrived at exactly the right place. Stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy founded by a man named Zeno and later practiced and taught by great historical figures like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius. The idea of the philosophy is that you can achieve inner peace by accepting the things that you cannot control and only focusing on your own thoughts and actions. So, according to the Stoics, it is not what happens to you that makes you feel a certain way. It is your opinion of what happens to you, and that is entirely inside of your control. I will teach you the most important rules to master the art of being stoic. Let's get started. Number five, discipline. I will argue that nearly every man who walks this earth has a deep desire inside of him to want more out of life, but only a very small percentage of men actually take action to go and achieve this and of the few who do take action, even fewer will actually keep going. Why? It all comes down to being disciplined. Sure, it is easy to work towards your goal when you feel motivated. Everyone can do that. A child can do that. And everyone knows the feeling of being motivated. You may even feel motivated after watching this video, but know this. Motivation is temporary, and often it is very short-lived. You do not need motivation. What you need is discipline, the ability to go forward even though you really do not want to but because you know that it is the right thing to do. Being able to set aside your own comfort is one of the most important traits of a stoic and you must master this. A great way to strengthen your discipline, a way that was also practiced by ancient stoics, is voluntary discomfort. You need discomfort in life or you will become weak. This could be things like taking cold showers, fasting for a day sleeping on the floor for a night, or doing something you fear, this will help you build a mind that remains calm in situations where other people panic. And you can start today. Number four, gratitude. But with a twist, you have probably heard before that you need to be grateful for the things you have in life even when you feel like you should have more. Be grateful for your eyesight. Be grateful for the people around you. Be grateful for the sunlight that touches your skin. There are so many things to be grateful for, far more than there are things to be upset about. This is also a core stoic principle, but there is a twist. Being grateful is good, but what happens when the things you are grateful for are suddenly taken away from you? What then? Do you break down in anger and frustration? Will you lose hope? Will you cry? Or? 
Will you continue down the path that you walk, the righteous path, unfazed by this change in circumstances? The latter, of course. The Stoics said that there is nothing wrong with wanting all the good that life has to offer, and when you get some of the good, you should appreciate it. But you should always be aware that it is not yours. Nothing that is outside of your mind is yours, because it can all be taken away from you in an instant. You can lose your wealth in a market crash. You can lose your loved ones to sickness or unpredictable events. You could lose your job due to a change in the industry. And you must accept this fact. The only thing that can never be taken away from you is the peace inside your mind. Number three, accept what you cannot control. According to the Stoics, the only thing that you can actually control is your mind and therefore your actions. You might think that you control your body, but do you really? You do not control if your body gets sick. You do not control if you suffer from a heart attack. You do not control what other people might do to your body, just the same way that you do not control other people. Some people have an obsessive need to be in control of everything. But even when they feel like they are in control, it is nothing but an illusion. The only thing that neither the world nor other people can affect is your mind. So if something upsets you, remember this. It is not the event itself that makes you feel upset. It is your decision to be upset that makes you feel upset. Train your mind and master your emotions. Your life will improve as a result of this. Number two, using your emotions. You might have this idea that being stoic is about completely eliminating emotions from your life and becoming an unfeeling ghost. But that is not the case. Emotions are what brings joy in life. The Stoics were very much aware of this. So it is not about removing emotions, but learning to control them. Because if you do not control your emotions, you will become a slave to them. Your emotions are powerful. And if you train yourself, sharpen yourself, and learn to master these emotions. Then, you can use them to become incredibly powerful. How you ever noticed that when some men gets their heart broken, suddenly, they get into the best shape of their lives. This is a prime example of how the feeling of heartbreak can be used to drastically improve yourself. Same goes for anger. Look at someone like Eminem. He is in many people's eyes, the greatest hip hop artist of all time. But what drove him to become this successful? He started from absolutely nothing, with all odds against him, but he managed to write himself into the history books. What drove him? That's right, his anger. So when you feel emotions inside of you, take a deep breath, take a step back, and carefully ask yourself this. This emotion that I'm feeling right now, how do I put this to use in the most productive way possible? If you make a habit of this, it is only a matter of time before you unlock your true potential. Number one, practice. Finally, the absolute most important factor if you want to become a modern day Stoic, you need to practice. Stoicism is no different from any other habit you are trying to form or any other skill that you are trying to learn. If you want to become a better reader, you need to read more. If you want to become a better cook, you need to cook more. Becoming a Stoic is no different. In the beginning, it will require a lot of energy for you to constantly remind yourself to act according to the stoic principles. But just like everything else, it is always an uphill battle in the beginning, but eventually, with time, you will become better. And eventually, you will start to reap the rewards. Nothing good comes easy, my friends. But of course, you already know this, do you not? If you are watching this video, especially if you have watched it all the way to the end, you are very well aware that nothing good comes easy. You are already on the path to self-improvement. You are not afraid of hard work, and I am proud of you. That is why I know that you will be able to succeed if you decide to. And you should know that you have my full support just like I hope that you will also support the people you meet who are on the same path as us. Treat your fellow man like your brother, not your enemy. We are stronger together. Remember that. That's it for today's video, brothers. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And don't hesitate to write a comment if you have any requests or feedback. Anything will be kindly accepted.
God bless you, brothers. Until next time. <laughs>